Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and today I'll be talking about Spanish moss and how I can cultivate them in the tropical region in my garden. Some basic information about Spanish moss. Commonly known as a Spanish moss, but it is not a true moss. Rather, it's actually an air plant species known as Tillandsia eusnidios. And neither it is from Spain but from the central region of America, closely around the tropical swampland. It does have another common name known as an old man's beard that fits best for its description. Earlier I had relocated this set on my balcony where I had received ample of indirect light and very good air movement. It does get some amount of rainwater on it and occasionally I would mist on it. But I've started noticing that it didn't look good also at the same time the air plants which I placed here both started to uh, look very dry out and also falling apart. Then I have to make a decision to relocate them to a new location where it will receive the same amount of air movement and light but here I can freely heavily water them using a hose pipe. I found that misting doesn't work well for them and they really require heavy watering. And these are the growth process or what appeared to be uh, what it was almost dying. Uh, now they have really regenerated back and spring back to a good growth, growth size. I would like to share some few tips here on how I care for them. Spanish moss really need a good air movement. In a way it should move in a cool breeze and a wind like here in this video. Uh, it cannot do well in a stagnant damp area on a high humidity. Uh, why is because uh, chances of it getting rot and being totally wet for a very long time can cause this plant to rot. So it must be able to dry within an hour at least and especially after watering. And uh, to give some tips it should be something like drying clothes where that would be in an ideal condition for it to have an indirect light and at the same time a good air movement for it to dry out after watering. Uh, this is a very important element to note as they will not do so well within the uh, indoor areas where there's a stale air unless a fan has been placed to induce such uh, air movement condition. Another important element is the indirect bright light. Somehow a semi-partial shade is the ideal thing for this particular plant. As you can see here, this is the evening time. It's just about to rain even though then it is still bright. It should be something similar like this. Of course, the brighter is the better, but in this condition, it should be something of coming to the right balance of both two elements. Now you can actually see over here that some parts here which is actually burnt and dried up. We can see there are some parts which is actually very silvery. Uh, this is very important to take note because this is where the life of the plant is actually is. Uh, the moment there is too much of a dry out that is actually taking place then you should actually change the position and give notice and attention to it. Like over here you can see that uh, most of the older ones actually has dried out but the, the promising thing here is that new fronds have already appeared at the surface and so you can consider this is sort of like regenerating back. So anytime you notice that there is a changes on the plant where it started to dry out and falling apart, do take action to it to change this position, especially if it's not receiving too much air movement or less of air movement or too much sunlight can also can cause this plant to burn out and too shaded they can actually cause this plant to wither away. So the right balance is the actual key. Even la lack of watering can also cause this plant to die away. Here you can see I've actually just recently just watered the, uh, the Spanish moss and I just want to show it to you what is the condition like. Like you can see over here there are some burnt parts here but somehow the strand is actually keeping the whole thing together. So there's nothing much to worry about unless the whole piece become very heavy then you can actually transfer them into a new uh, hanging part. Part. But apart from now, as for this condition, as long as the dry condition is still strong and the whole plant is still be able to support the weight of the wet 
uh, air plants then i think there's nothing much to worry about but just sustain it this is actually a condition where the plant is almost about to die and you're regenerating it there are other conditions where the whole thing will actually fall apart and i will show you what you can do about it but as for now i think this is something which you you can actually uh handle the situation because it's not too late yet i often get comments and questions about uh, Spanish moss whether the dry parts are they actually alive will they come back alive actually no once they are dried and they are gone it's a goner it will not come back only the green ones comes back and so do take note and do care for them properly especially the green parts because uh, when they are very well cared for they will actually grow very fast so they don't have to worry the, the only thing that need to be given uh, uh, importance is to take care of it so that it won't fully dry out now over here you can see that i have actually used a cable tie something like a, star, a kind of a wire but it's an insulated wire this is one of the most important thing about spanish moss is that they will not do well with exposed metal wiring so always find insulated wiring or wires that you can especially when you're actually fastening them it is very important not to have any bare metal piece on it because th that is the one that actually causes the burn and the plants to wither away so these are the things that you really have to keep uh, a note of because in most nurseries they will just uh, sell it using just bare wire and, and hangers and you just sell them like that now you can see over here is that uh, you can also do this to strand them on the kind of branches and you can just let them hang loose one of the most important thing is that when they are when they are tangled down make sure they are not tangled anywhere else they should be able to move freely these are the most important thing about spanish moss because uh, if they are uh, not 100 percent hanging down chances of them turn drying out is very high so these are the, one of the important uh, facets that i will always uh, make an emphasis to make sure that it's 100 percent free from any entanglement Earlier I had mentioned to you how to handle the dried and fallen off pieces. Uh, very much earlier I actually used strings and thread to tie them into knots but found that too, too, too tedious and messy. Hence I found that this f flexible insulated wire and often uh, used for gardening purpose and I had managed to twist them these uh, fronds together and in bunches and they are just doing fine hence these are the basic needs of the spanish moss air movement indirect semi-shaded light and heavy watering also note only water them once they are fully dried because uh, too much water and they are not dried can also cause them to wither away i rarely use uh, fertilizer on them as they are prone to rot and wither away if they are if they receive too much fertilizer and so therefore if needed only use uh, plant fertilizers specially made for them do take note that they are very similar and the care is equivalent to how you take care of an air plant so if you have an air plant then this should not be a problem just to show you a quick view of my air plant collection which has a similar characteristics and the needs as spanish moss Earlier I mentioned to you the one that I actually kept in the balcony which was almost dying and so therefore what I have done here is that I have repositioned it back to earlier the initial position where I received good light and bright indirect sunlight and air movement and also a heavy watering and they have really germinated back. These are the tips for the day and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, do feel free to put them in the comment below and I'll try my best to answer them as my best as possible. Also, if possible, do check out my other video on Spanish moss where I also give extensive information where you can actually view and find out more further details on it. Anyway, thank you so much. If you can, I would really appreciate it if you could 
can click like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day and catch up with you later. Take care. Bye. Have a nice day.